Coming up next on the channel, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Collection. Spider-Man vs. Carnage. Stick around. Guys, Tayden in. Phil from Crossfire Collectibles. Uh, today's video, we have the Marvel Legends Spider Man Retro Collection Spider Man vs. Carnage 2 pack. Alright, so get right into it. Um, been hanging on to this because I haven't been sure if we're going to continue with the animated figures or not, but I figured why not? We'll just hang on to them and keep them. So, uh, I'll give you a shot of his box. Kind of looking like it's like VHS style 1 and 2 Spider Man and Carnage. MVL Legends instead of VHS. Here's the back. You have a shot of Symbiote Spider Man and Carnage. And another different shot from this side. Bottom, plastic window garbage, and Spider Man. So, without further ado, we will go ahead, bring out Trusty Dusty Kniff, and get this puppy open. So, do the honors from the bottom. Ooh. So yeah, we are uh, been debating on opening this one for a minute, and we've decided to go ahead and do it. Um, we do have the retro on the single card, but uh, I figured we go ahead and get this get this done. Uh, let's show him off real quick. I'll just leave him carded. He was pretty valuable for a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out the symbiote Spider Man while he can get out Carnage. So, <clears throat> And here is Carnage. Now, before we reveal them, we're going to go ahead and do our usual. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe for future content. All right, so get some more goodies out of there. A whole bunch of stuff. Close that back up. And we'll set that here as our little backdrop. And got some crap. Looks like some Carnage stuff. More Carnage stuff. And I believe these are hands for Spider-Man. So uh, he'll go ahead and show you off Spider-Man and we we'll get Carnage up. So here's the symbiote Spider-Man. Um, I'm going to compare him to the Carter one. So the same exact figure, just this one does have the blue uh, cell shading on it. While this one doesn't. The, uh, the uh, Spider logo is a little bit longer and kind of more narrower on that one than it is on this one. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, the paint apps cut off around the ab section. Yeah. Um, actually, oh, it's the same body, is it? Yeah, look at the white paint. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the same body, pretty much. But just this one has that cell shading. So I'm going to go ahead and put him into a pose. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and show his accessories, which is just extra hands, I believe. Yeah, so he does come with a right thwip hand, a left thwip hand, a right wall crawling. wall crawling or stick hand, and then a left fist hand. And on him right now, he does have the right fist hand and the left um wall crawling hand, but... For his articulation. Yeah, so... Here is his articulation. He does have the butterfly joints. He does have toe articulation, which is always great on Spider-Man figures. He has a calf swivel, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and double jointed elbows. And he is pinless, which is really cool. And uh, he does have his wrist movement, of course. He does have pretty decent ab crunch. He goes forward this far, and then backwards pretty good and then he can look down this far and he can look up that far which it's not that good but i'm gonna go ahead and put him into a pose all right so here is carnage this is like a classic take on the comic edition of it i guess made to look like it's animated um looking over it i can't really tell if there's cell shading on here or not it's just if it is the red is blended in very well and i can't really tell but anyways, here is Carnage. Let's see. 
was kind of hoping he had a hinge on his jaw so he could open and close his mouth, but it doesn't look like it. But while we're at Gerber's articulation, his head, he can look up real high. That's crazy. And down. It's like perfect. Why can't you do a Spider-Man like that? It's, look, how low, look how far the head goes up. It's because look, look at this yeah. one. You could probably, you know, oh, he's got a hinge on his neck here. Yeah, this one don't have a hinge. So that'd be difficult unless you painted it. Um, he also has butterfly joints on his shoulders. Okay, he has bicep swivel, double jointed pinned elbows. He has a hinge in his wrist, allowing it to curl up or out. And of course it's got full 360, as well as the head, full 360. Um, his ab crunch, pretty good forward. That far back. Um, he's got waist swivel. His legs go out that far, forward this far, and back that far. He's got the thigh swivel, double jointed pinned knees, calf swivel, and he's got a hinge on his ankle for forward or back. And it's got a little pivot for side to side. So, uh, <clears throat> What I can tell for a carnage, he's got these, you know, red symbiotic splash shears, whatever you want to call them, blood vessels coming out. So that's pretty neat. Um, he looks, he looks pretty good. I like him. Um, I guess I'm more fond of the uh, more realistic looking head. I mean, that's okay. It's just I think it's a little too black around the eyes. But um, we're gonna go ahead and show you his other accessories. So we'll sit him down for a moment. Bag. And oh, cool! I'll show you that in a second. He has this hand, which is like crazy spiky. I think that's gonna go on, so I'm gonna show that now. But I'm gonna put that on. He's got a Cletus Cassidy hit. I don't know why I didn't know that, but all right, that's cool. That's a nice little bonus I didn't know about. Crazy looking. All right. And you have some of his, I guess, symbiotic weapon accessories here. So we'll get those out. Oh, here you have some more uh, tentacle splash type stuff. This will go on his back. It's got a little pig to stick in the hole. And you have an axe type hand. So this does have a hinged peg on it, so you can move it around. Something cool, maybe slashing effect. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and he's gonna bring out his posed symbiote Spider Man, and I'm gonna pose up Carnage. So, here is the symbiote Spider Man all posed up. I kind of have him in like a punch in about a thwip pose. Um, it kind of looks better, it looks better in real life than it does on the camera because I guess the camera is just weird about it. But I'll try to, I don't know, it just looks kind of weird on the camera but it looks all right looks pretty cool um i wanted the i guess his articulation to be a little better but it'll do for now i just wish they sometimes would do a little bit more on the spider-man figures given the fact he is spider-man you should be able to do insane poses but it's whatever um here he is i'll give him a 360 kind of show you the back cell shading kind of looks cool like this yeah Pretty slick. so i did want to test something out real quick as you guys know we do have the spider-man and marvel spinneret two pack and that spider-man actually comes with a peter parker head so i went ahead and put the peter parker head on the symbiote spider-man might do some customizing to it but Looks pretty cool. All right, and here is Carnage. That's the pose I got him in. I gave him that wild, like, clawed out looking left hand. Put his axe in his right hand. Um, put his extra little back accessory piece on him. And I uh, gave him a goofy kind of leg pose. So he can 
kind of lean up against something, which is cool. So the tentacles will allow that one against the box to make it look all right. I'm gonna probably lift this arm up a little higher. It looks like he might be almost reaching out or deflecting a hit or something like that. Uh, I was gonna put the, actually I'll go ahead and do it. Just to, just to test it out, I'll see what the Cletus Cassidy head looks like on it. But um, I'm definitely gonna keep the symbiote head on. And there you go. So there is Carnage with the Cletus Cassidy head. It looks good. It just um, I don't know. You can't. I can't take him serious with a human face. You know. Too bad uh, Spider-Man didn't come with a Peter Parker. Who, that'd have made this set like I'd have given it a ten. <laughs> Secret Wars. Yeah. So there we go. Cletus Cassie hit in and his <coughs> extra pair of hands. <coughs> Alright, so here's your animated version of Carnage with his Cletus Cassie head and extra pair of hands. And here is your Symbio Spider Man. I went ahead and put him in kind of like a Secret Wars type of pose where he has his hands kind of out and he's like confused because uh, that's, I guess, when Peter Parker first got a Symbio. So, yeah. I like that Pretty pose. Cool. Though. Let's keep him in that. That's a shame about his. Uh, I'll pick him up. That's a shame about this right here. I mean, it looks like that is the actual design of it because you look at where it see it's like pointed and there's a slip right there. Yeah. So maybe it's just supposed to look like that and not like the other one where it's coming all the way down. But yeah, uh, it's supposed to have this slip. I haven't paid attention to a symbiote Spider-Man costume in a minute. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and give you guys a shot, a uh, a full revolving shot on the turntable. All right, so here you guys go. Here's a little revolving shot of Spider-Man and Carnage with all their accessories and geared up. Um, I'm surprised Carnage can actually stand on his own, especially when moving. So uh, you figure some parts would be too heavy, but now it seems like it's just about right level of weight to you know distribute throughout his body to have him kind of in like a, a bent leg pose, you know, with his arms out and plus with the axe on the end, that's pretty crazy. Um, I do have the axe a little upside down because you can kind of see his fingers on the other side. So I will need to mess with that, but you get the idea. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So overall, I, I like this set. I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of funny that the symbiote Spider-Man looks more like the uh, art on the retro card than the actual Spider-Man that comes with the retro card looks. So. Yeah, really. Are the bottom of his feet blue? The bottom? Yeah. Here, I'll lift them real quick. Nope. Good luck. Yeah, on the card, it's uh, the bottom of a fever blue. Yeah, but not gonna lie, I think I would definitely pick this Simeon Spider-Man over the other one. And I know that could be a little controversial because I feel like everyone would pick the non cell shaded one so that way they can have a fully blacked out suit. And um, I'm not gonna lie, the spider, I kind of prefer on the other one. Um, I do like the thicker, kind of smaller design. But because it makes him look a little bit more beefy and medicine. Yeah, that this one but, this one looks more like the one I'm used to seeing. The other one it's just it seems like it comes down too far. Yeah. I do the only reason why I never mind, I think I like this one better. <laughs> so, anyways, uh that's gonna do our little review for the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Collection, Spider-Man vs. Carnage 2-pack. Um cool set. But uh I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please leave a giant thumbs up, subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified of future videos. Make sure to check us out on social media. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.